Hey everyone, how's it going? It's Cheetah here, and I'm going to do just a little late night video. Um, I'm going to be playing this new Beast Druid deck that I created. I think it's really cool. Um, you can see the list on the left there. Basically got all of the new Beast Synergy cards, and it's got the awesome Stranglethorn Tiger and Menagerie Warden combo. Which is really broken. And it also has the curator and Finley. So the curator can actually draw a beast, dragon, and murloc from the deck. So it's kind of like the old Ancient of Laws, drawing two cards, except this one draws three and has taunt. Um, because yeah, the murloc is Murgleton, the dragon, I have two Azure Drakes, and then I have an entire deck full of beasts. So it's always going to draw like one card at least, usually two or three. Against the Hunter, I don't really want um, Totems filling up the board, even though the Spell Totem can be really cool. The thing I want is to race him, so the Hunter here about would be best. If I could have picked the Mage one, I would have done that instead. Hopefully this 50-50 misses. Sometimes it can be important to have the Margleton on the board. That's cool. I think I can just trade that. He can actually go straight into Deadly Shot. Should be fine though. If he doesn't have Deadly Shot, I'm probably gonna win. Like, imagine if he just rolls an Animal Companion and it's like Misha or Liark, I can just Wrath it. That's pretty disgusting. Found was so broken, I actually had to craft it recently because I knew how powerful it was. And even though the deck is not built around it, it has enough synergy like Druid of the Sabres, Living Roots, Wraths, Barrel Rages, um, and Druid of the Claws will benefit from Fandral. Well, I think I'm just going to ignore this because I'm so far ahead on the board. And I have a uh, cure are coming, I, like, I have a good curve. Um, so I'll just continue farming stuff. I deal 8 damage to face, he's on 8 health. I think it's actually safer just to trade into this. Um, I don't like it being on 1 health, I have no way to deal the 1 damage in case I can't finish him off with lethal. So I'll actually be safe and trade though. Plus in a few turns I have like Azure Drake swipe to clear off all the little stuff. He's going for a full clear, I guess. That's fine. In fact, you know what? I kind of forgot that I had the uh, Hunter Hero power for some reason. Um, it would would have been also pretty decent to go face there. But I guess there's no problem with playing safe. And now, because of this top deck, even if he has a deadly shot, um, I'll still win. Took me a while to fine-tune this deck because 
my earlier versions had like two living roots and two enchanted ravens, whereas this only has one of each. And my earlier versions didn't have wild growths. And it played really badly without the wild growths. I got a less than 50% win. Whereas with the wild growth, I'm getting above 60% win. I actually thought this deck would be better than it is. It's still really, really good. It's like a, probably a top tier deck, or really close to it. Um, but I thought it would be even better. I thought it would be absolutely broken. But it doesn't seem to be necessarily broken like it can be beaten. Because sometimes it can be quite slow to play it. I keep on messing around trying to like occasionally taking out Menagerie Wardens, but I like it with two. I don't think it's correct to innovate straight into the Druid of the Claw. It could be now though, because if I, most of my deck is 5 drops. So I can innovate into this, then coin into the next 5 drop. And then maybe even play another. He could sap it too, and I can just coin back into it. These, I don't really want to just stop wrathing them and stuff. I don't really care that they're there. So I'm just going to continue playing. Um, I'll use the spells on the next turn if I don't top deck another good five drop. Okay, we pretty much have a perfect curve. I'm actually going to use all the spells and I'm going to keep this stealthed. So we don't actually have a bursty type of hand, so it makes sense to keep this stealthed so that we can get a really nice Menagerie Warden next turn. Nice, so we can... Uh, Menagerie Warden and trade. This is like one of the most broken combos um, from the new expansion. Join the pack. Especially since a lot of classes struggle to deal with stealth already, which makes Stranglethorn Tiger pretty nice. This guy's got some good answers so far though. I could make the effort of killing this Azure Drake, but a really good turn for the Curator. And I think I should even I don't like leaving him with spell damage, right? But seeing as I haven't drawn swipe. And I can't Azure Drake into swipe next thing because I don't have enough mana. I think it makes sense for me to kill this off. But it does worry me leaving this Azure Drake up. At least he's used like backstab prep of this rate already. He only has one of each remaining. And he's used the fan. Hopefully he doesn't get any nice druid spells. Like a swipe would be pretty devastating here. Mm. 
Okay. Mark of the Wild. Actually scary. I actually don't run mulch in this deck. Maybe I should put it in. The Druid Hero Power is now pretty much useless, so... Looking like... I mean, he doesn't have any fans, so I could do... Combatant and double Druid of the Sabres. Or I could just do Murgleton, like, heal myself for two. Stranglethorn. That's fairly weak, to be honest. Like... He doesn't have fans, he's not going to run Blade Flurry. I've risked dying by not healing myself with a Muggleton uh, hero power trade, but my board is much better. So, if I don't die this turn, then I'll have a much better chance of recovering. And he used a lot of his bursts, he used both of his rates. Hmm. At least my two stealth minions can take out the Azure Drake. So I just really need a swipe off the top. Um, I'm unsure which option is better, like the Mark of Vishiraj to draw a card or the Azure Drake first. Azure Drake, I get one chance at swipe. If I top deck Innovate, I get another draw. Same with this. I guess the both chances are the same. But this, if I top deck into another Mark of Vishiraj, then I get another chance. Oh, lovely. That is ideal. Which means I get one mana remaining. So I can do this. I'm liking the totem idea. Ooh, even with the uh, spell totem, the spell totem didn't make a difference other than doing one extra damage to hero. I guess in a way I was hoping for the taunt to him. Oh. Well I have another swipe somewhere. 1 in 12 of top decking it. So really... 1 in 11 now. But I could also top deck... Feral Rage, I have two of those, which would give me eight armor. Or Wild Growth, which would give me another draw. Though I wouldn't have the mana. Rid of the Claw I have a, I have to play a Drake. I can't win without playing it. So sick. Very, very lucky. I enjoyed that game. Nice to have lots of top decks. Always in a row. Easy when that happens. Malfurion versus Thrall. I think I need to. Find a way to put mulch into the deck.
Maybe replace a menagerie warden with a mulch. That would be good, I think. Because there's a lot of instances where menagerie warden doesn't actually do anything. It's just an expensive thing. I'll get this right off the board because otherwise I get too easily punished by flame tongue and abusive. So this 2 1 is actually really awesome against Shaman. I think I should probably play this for 8 armor just. seeing as I have lots of removal already, just to play it on curve. I may regret it because it's sometimes really useful to clear a totem or something. But I think it's important to be completely mana efficient, so usually against a shaman you're going to heal at some point anyway. Oh, but it's actually not an aggro then, or it's a very strange sort of aggro shaman. Hmm. I can fully clear. I really don't like doing this because I like to draw with the wrath, but my hand is full already. So I guess I'm just going to fully clear. It feels horrible using a Wrath on a 1-3. But... At least I can go Stranglethorn into Menagerie Warden. So yeah, we just have to find out which kind of Shaman this is. Like it could be like a budget Shaman or it could be some kind of new mid-range. Maybe it's like Bloodless Shaman with those spiders. Okay, it's not it's not aggro then. Aggro wouldn't run jeweled scarab. I don't like leaving this up, so I'm gonna trade. The swipes are pretty important. Oh, two Azure Drake swipes. Pretty nice. The menagerie is for guests only. Hmm. I was just thinking about that guy. I don't like giving up my Azure Drake when I have another swipe. I was thinking of Savage, Hero Power and Training. I also don't like revealing both the Azure Drakes and leaving them on the board and then just trading this guy in. And I also don't like using my swipe. Uh, I guess the best play is just this one. So yeah, his curator actually drew three things. So that was his dragon. Okay, he's taking a risk. 
fair. I'm happy with it. As long as it didn't roll double four. Uh, it's very tempting to actually... This is the kind of deck that could run the healing wave. Hmm. But... Like, I'm really tempted to attack face here. This is what I'm thinking about. Yeah, we're running out of cards. Screw it. Like, obviously, if he doesn't have a big taunt, then he dies. He has not enough mana to play Alakir. If he has Healing Wave, he's fine. What to do? Or a big taunt. I know two of his cards, like one's a Marlock, one's a Beast. And people wouldn't really run that many Beasts that have Taunt. Like Iron Fur Grizzlies, you're not going to run that. Silverback Patriarchs, you're not going to run those. So two of his cards aren't taunts. Um, if he rolls a taunt to him, that will die to the spell damage swipe. In his mind though, I don't have Azure Drake swipe, so he could actually roll a totem and potentially survive. So he shouldn't have really given up without at least attempting to taunt him. All right, cool. I uh, hope you enjoyed the uh, gameplay of the new deck. And yeah, I'll see you guys next time. Cheers.